dear students in this video we are going to see how to derive the probability density function of chi square distribution chi square distribution is one type of sampling distribution like student t and f and some other distributions the chi square distribution actually it was discovered by helmut in the year 1876 and later on carl pearson derived the same distribution independently in the year 1900 So let us go to the statement. If x i i equal to one to x to i n are independent normal variates with mean mean mu i and variance sigma i square and let u i equal to x i minus mu i divided by sigma i with chi square equal to summation i equal to one to x to i n u i square. That is each normal variate is converted into a standard normal variate ui and each standard normal variate r squared then you sum up all the standard normal variates which you call it as chi square then the probability density function of chi square is f of chi square equal to 1 by 2 power n by 2 gamma n by 2 chi square power n by 2 minus 1 into e power minus chi square by 2 with the range of chi square is Zero less than or equal to chi square less than infinity. Now let us see how to derive this uh, probability density function. So given that x i follows normal with mean mu i variance sigma i square, the probability function of x i or x simply we call it as x f of x equal to one by sigma into square root of two pi e power minus one by two into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square. With the range of x is minus infinity less than x less than infinity minus infinity less than mu less than infinity mu 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 is nothing but mean sigma is square nothing but variance uh, the range of sigma square is zero less than sigma square less than infinity so now we find the moment generating function of u i square that is m u all our u square m u square of t which is equal to expected value of e power t into u square so already we know that the if x is a random variable then moment generating function of x is nothing but mx of t which is equal to expected value of e power tx when x is continuous random variable expected value of e power tx equal to integral e power tx f of x dx in the same way we find here the moment generating function of u square which is equal to integral minus infinity 2 plus infinity <coughs> e power t into u square into probability function of x into dx so here we are using the probability function of x even uh, we find the moment generating function of u square since u is nothing but function of x here u equal to x minus mu divided by x sigma which is nothing but a function of x mu and sigma are constants so here we use the probability function of x since u is also a random variable uh, therefore u square is also a random variable u square is a function of x so we use the probability function of x So here, which is equal to integral minus infinity two plus infinity e power t into u square into probability function of x one divided by sigma into root two phi e power minus one by two into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square into dx. So now, already we assumed that u equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. This implies x equal to mu plus sigma into u. Therefore, dx equal to sigma into d mu, <coughs> du. Okay. So already we know that the range of x is minus infinity to plus infinity. Therefore, the range of u will also minus infinity to plus infinity. 
now m u square of t which is equal to 1 by sigma into square root of 2 phi integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power t u square into e power minus u square by 2 since e power minus 1 by 2 t x minus u by sigma uh, we fixed x minus mu by sigma as u therefore it will be e power minus u square by 2 in term dx is nothing but as sigma into du uh, so sigma into du it will be now this sigma and this sigma will be cancelled so which is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 phi e power minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus u square by 2 into 1 minus 2t into du so you please note that here we find the moment generating function of u square but here we do integrate this function with respect to u only therefore we substitute the range of u not range of u square so now we know that integral minus infinity 2 plus infinity e power minus a square into x square integration with respect to x which is equal to square root of phi divided by a so this is very basic integral formula we apply this formula here so m u square of t which is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 phi root phi divided by so here a square is nothing but 1 minus 2t by 2 therefore a is nothing but 1 minus 2t by 2 whole power half so which is equal to this root phi and this root phi will be vanished and this root 2 in the denominator and this root 2 will be cancelled therefore which gives us 1 divided by 1 minus 2t whole power 1 by 2 so which is nothing but which is nothing but 1 minus 2t whole power minus 1 by 2 so this is moment generating function of u square so moment generating function of u square is nothing but 1 minus 2t power minus 1 by 2 so there is one for uh, theorem uh, which is known as uniqueness theorem of mgf that is whenever there is one random variable x uh, which has one probability function uh, then for this random variable there will be only one mgf only one moment generating function so this theorem is nothing but uniqueness theorem of random variable x and we obtained the moment generating function of u square 1 minus 2t power minus 1 by 2 this is is nothing but the mgf of gamma distribution uh, with the parameters a and lambda so if x follows gamma distribution with the parameter a comma lambda then with the moment generating function m of mx of t which, which is equal to uh, 1 minus t divided by a whole power minus lambda so here a is nothing but 1 by 2 and lambda is nothing but 1 by 2 so this is one result so now we find the moment generating function of summation u square of t so which is equal to moment generating function of chi square since summation u square is nothing but a chi square so which is equal to product of i equal to 1 to x etra n moment generating function of u i square of t since here u i square uh, since u1 u2 etc u n are the functions of x1 x2 etc xn since xis are independent all uis are independent since all uis are independent automatically all uis are independent therefore moment generating function of sum of ui square is nothing but product of individual mgf of ui square so moment generating function of chi square of t 
which is equal to product of i equal to 1 to etc n uh, which is nothing but 1 minus 2t whole power minus 1 by 2 so since we have derived the moment generating function of u u square which is equal to 1 minus 2t power minus 1 by 2 this is true for all u square that is u1 square u2 square u3 square etc u n square so m chi square of t equal to product of i equal to 1 to etc n 1 minus 2 t power minus 1 by 2 so this will be 1 minus 2 t whole power minus n by 2 since there are n terms in the product form which is nothing but moment generating function of chi square so again this is this mgf in the form of gamma distribution that is this mgf is accordance with mx of t which is equal to 1 minus 2t whole power sorry 1 minus 2t is not sorry okay mx of t which is equal to 1 minus t by a power minus lambda then we can say that x follows gamma distribution with the parameter a comma lambda so m chi square of t is accordance with this form 1 minus t by a power minus lambda here a equal to 1 by 2 lambda equal to n by 2 therefore by using the uniqueness theorem of mgf we can say that chi square which follows gamma distribution with the parameter 1 by 2 comma n by 2 in the similar way therefore probability function of chi square which is equal to a power lambda a power a is nothing but 1 by 2 1 by 2 power n by 2 based on the gamma distribution 1 by 2 power yes 1 by 2 power n by 2 divided by gamma n by 2 into e power minus chi square divided by 2 multiplied with chi square power n by 2 minus 1 with the range of chi square is 0 less than or equal to chi square less than infinity since when x follows gamma distribution with the parameter a comma lambda then f of x equal to a power lambda divided by gamma lambda e power minus a x x power lambda minus 1 with the range of 0 less than or equal to x less than infinity so in this similar way we write the probability function of chi square by using the probability function of gamma distribution so f of chi square equal to this which is equal to we simplified this so 1 divided by 2 power n by 2 into gamma n by 2 chi square power n by 2 minus 1 into e power minus chi square divided by 2 with the range of chi square 0 less than or equal to chi square less than infinity which is nothing but probability density function of chi square variate so here there are some constants 2 number then again uh, n another constant n this n is nothing but number of random variables so here n which is equal to number of random variables number of random variables therefore this n is called it as degrees of freedom therefore uh, the chi square variate which follows chi square distribution with degrees of freedom n whenever in the sample any uh, sampling probability density function if a parameter involved as a number of observations that means number of independent observations then uh, parameter will be called as degrees of freedom so here n is nothing but a number of independent random variables that is number of independent observations so this n is called as degrees of freedom so i hope you all that uh, you can understand this derivation
let us see another video thank you